My name is Alan Costley. I'm a consultant physicist for uh, Tokamak Energy. Most of my experience is in the area of uh, diagnostics and plasma measurement systems, but in the last few years I've been working on uh, system codes which are used to uh, set the parameters of future fusion pilot plants and reactors. The title of the paper is on the fusion triple product and fusion power gain of tokamak pilot plants and reactors. Well the fusion triple product is basically the density of the plasma times the temperature of the plasma times the energy confinement time and the energy confinement time is roughly speaking the time it takes for the energy to leak out of a plasma if the input energy is turned off. It would be the rough equivalent for example to the cooling down time of your hot water tank if you turned off the immersion heater. The fusion triple product is in many ways the most important parameter in fusion research because it is the parameter that determines the power gain of a tokamak plasma and after all the intention is to generate power so you would use a tokamak to input some power and then have an amplification of that to generate more power. And the fusion triple product determines the uh, magnitude of that gain. So it's a most fundamental parameter. So I had a look at that in, in the light of uh, what we know about the scaling laws. Scaling laws are used in um, computer codes to predict the performance of future tokamak pilot plants and reactors that might well be built in, in the future. I use the uh, established scaling laws, and in particular the scaling law which is known as the ETA scaling law, which was used in the early days to, to determine the size and current of ETA. That scaling law is developed from experiments done on many different tokamaks throughout the world by many different uh, groups, something like 10, 12 different tokamaks and groups. So it's a very well-based uh, database of, of, uh, of measurement. That is what's being used to predict the performance of future devices. For uh, a long time, of course, it's been realized that we need to uh, increase the fusion triple product in order to get to the point where we have net power gain. So that makes that the most important parameter. And as I said, it's the product of density, temperature and confinement time. Well, density and temperature are relatively simple parameters. The confinement time is more complex because it depends on what is going on in the core of the plasma. But generally speaking, it's expected that as you make the tokamaks larger, then the confinement time will also increase. And so therefore, as you make the tokamaks bigger, the product NT tau will also increase, and so will the fusion power gain. That is essentially the conventional thinking. However, tokamak plasmas are subject to what are known as operational limits. If you try to increase the density, for example, above its operational limit, the plasma confinement is lost. Similarly, if you try to increase the plasma pressure above its operational limit, the plasma confinement is lost. And it turns out that both these operational limits go inversely with size. So as you make the tokamak bigger, indeed NT tau should increase because tau is increasing, but actually there are other limits which are going in the opposite direction. And so what I did was I looked at the combination of the scaling from NT tau coming from the scaling of the confinement time with the scaling of the operational limits, which has also come from experiments. And what I found is that the negative scaling of the operational limits more or less cancels the positive scaling from the confinement time increase. And in consequence, the fusion gain does not actually depend on size. In principle, smaller devices can basically perform, in terms of fusion power gain, which is the most important parameter, as well as bigger devices. For fusion generally, I think the research means that uh, there may well be other lines other than just building larger and ever more powerful devices. Uh, it opens the possibility of having smaller, lower power devices, possibly a lot smaller, or the magnitude smaller, in which case it means we could have a more rapid development cycle. And if you look at all modern technologies, you find that uh, progress goes faster if you can have uh, more rapid development cycles. So hopefully it will lead ultimately to the speed up of the uh, progress towards uh, fusion power.